When Brett Favre recently announced his Parkinson's diagnosis, he raised awareness for the degenerative disease with no cure and no known causes. But researchers are making strides in therapy for Parkinson's and essential tremor, an even more common movement disorder affecting 10 million people in the U.S. Our Sarah Maki talks to a Northwestern Medicine patient, the first one in our area to try one of their new procedures. But I mean, it completely sound. It's gone. It's, it's, it's an absolute miracle. Miracle is a word Chuck Wicks uses a lot right now. It was a total success. It's a miracle. It is. He's had the condition essential tremor all his adult life. But this video was taken just two hours after undergoing a focused ultrasound procedure that stopped the shaking in his right hand. You can see there's no, there is no um, shaking at all. Wicks says he recently decided to look into possible therapies. And just decided to bite the bullet. What have I got to lose? and found this one was covered by his Medicare. And how they ever determined where this spot was in the brain is amazing. So, I mean, but the whole technology, I just wish it would have been around and could have done it 25 years ago. Well, this is his brain in the ultrasound device. Dr. Joshua Rose now on the team that did the non-invasive procedure using sound waves to target the part of Wick's brain that causes the tremors, a procedure that has been around for years. But Northwestern, one of the few systems in the country to now offer it. Rose now says some patients have been reluctant to sign on for other tremor treatments, including a deep brain surgery to implant an electrode. You think about how far Parkinson's research has come since Michael J. Fox went public back in the 1990s, there's been a sea change in how we look at Parkinson's. Now a central tremor, the problem that Mr. Wicks has, is actually more common movement disorder than Parkinson's is. But it's much more undertreated, both medically and surgically, than Parkinson's. You might have to figure out how to write again. Yeah. I think so. Wicks says the procedures change the way he does the small things in life, like playing pool, writing. You all have to learn to write again. You have to learn how to write again. There you go. Now that it's been done, it's almost like it's always been that. You know, it's like, it's, 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 it's amazing. The procedure went so well, Wix is now considering having it done on his other hand, though the FDA does require patients wait nine months between procedures. In Winfield, Saramaki, CBS News, Chicago.